Welcome to Principles and Practices of Transportation Finance. My name is Rick Wilson. I'm a professor of urban and regional planning at Cal Poly Pomona. I also do transportation consulting and research on parking reform, transit-oriented development, and travel demand management. Earlier in my career, I worked on benefit assessment, tax increment financing, and pricing schemes. So I'm looking forward to teaching this class. If you ever wonder why things turn out the way they do, it is probably the availability of funding as much as a plan's direction that explains our current transportation system. So it's vital to understand how it works and how you can use it to advance projects you're working on. The course will address the evolution of transportation system in the U.S. as a context and then talk about the structure of U.S. transportation finance. We'll discuss some key policy issues in transportation finance and then briefly discuss how planning, programming, and project funding works. A key issue in debates about transportation finance and transportation projects for that matter is equity. What is fair? And this is a major element that we'll address in terms of understanding the different definitions of fairness that stakeholders bring to the transportation planning process. Finally, we'll discuss some key issues in current transportation funding and project delivery and have a wrap up. Transportation funding exists in a nested hierarchy. Unlike local government planning and infrastructure where funds are primarily locally derived, the federal government, states, counties, and local governments are all involved in funding transportation. The primary funding mechanism at the federal and state level is gasoline taxes. These are excise taxes that are charged on a per gallon basis. Also, uh, federal and state governments use vehicle taxes and fees. They appropriate funds from the general fund to build transportation facilities and use other taxes. Counties increasingly are using what are called self-help taxes, which are local sales taxes devoted to transportation. As well, they receive funding from transit fares and property taxes. And finally, local government uses property taxes, fares of any transit systems they run, exactions for infrastructure and other taxes to fund the transportation system. So in any large project, it is likely that a combination of funding sources is involved. So the role of putting together the funding sources needed for a project is really a key thing in getting it implemented. So why this course? The traditional funding sources are inadequate for expected expenditures. So the federal government has a thing called the Highway Trust Fund into which gasoline tax revenues are placed and protected for transportation uses. And that has become depleted. It has been subsidized by general tax revenues for a number of years. The other issue is the gas tax revenue, a major source of revenue, is declining because of increasing fuel economy on the part of vehicles and the fact that it's not indexed to inflation. Localities are feeling tapped out by the funding pressures to make up for reduced federal funding levels through things like gasoline taxes. The promising element is that pricing schemes offer new revenue sources that we haven't considered before and at the same time can provide demand management opportunities that we're looking for. So let's begin.